Hey guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Blitz League 2. In the last part, we played for the Division title, and now we are in Division 1, and are going to be playing against the Mexico City Aztecs. Uh, must stay within 70 points at final score to win the bet. And, yes. Uh, so, uh, we're going to go ahead and watch the captain video. I'll see you guys in a sec. This week we play the Aztecs. Word is the Mexican government paid the league a mint to move them from Dallas to Mexico City. Thanks to tight end Felix Fortain, the team is still a title contender. Crazy work ethic, hands like Velcro, and he loves contact. Rumor has it he's been using the team's plane to transport steroids across the border. Mexico loves Fortain, and he loves them right back. Hard life, huh? Yep, interesting, interesting stuff. You know, nothing really special except for, you, you know, he's a tight end and shit. Um, yeah, uh, you know, nothing special about this team other than, you know, they're from Mexico. Um, in the last game, they were the Dallas Aztecs, and Julius Williams, I believe, in the last game was on this team, the Dallas Aztecs, and then he went to the Hammerheads. So, yeah. Felix Fortain. Hi, and thanks for joining us. So I have to uh, get 200 yards, which should be, you know, pretty easy. Um, you know, just as long as I don't have a game like the fucking championship last time, where I decided every other play was going to be interceptions, but I should be fine. I think I threw three. Like I said, uh, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna try and make sure I'm the league MVP this season, because last season it was Henry Cho, which I mean, I guess it doesn't really make a difference, because I mean, Henry Cho was the league MVP because I threw him the ball a lot, so obviously I'm up there. But you know, if, if I'm gonna do this, might as well do it right, right? I'm glad to have my running back uh, back. My volume's turned down enough so that. Oh shit! All right, Larson. I don't know, it's never a good sign, though, when you're the best player on your team is a tight end. I mean, don't get me wrong, tight ends are, can be good players. But, like, if it's your best player, that's not a good sign. Like, because half the time he's not even going to be going out for routes, he's going to be blocking. But yeah, after this Let's Play done, is done, I'm debating doing the first game. I have one game planned out I want to do, but the first game, like, you know, it's just like, if I'm, I've always, whenever I do Let's Plays, my whole thing is like, if I'm going to do a game, I really want to do every game in the series, if possible. So if I'm going to, I might as well do it. I'm gonna do this game. Damn it! This, um, Division 1, though, actually ends up getting pretty difficult. So, like, all those games that you saw me, like, kill it, you're going to see some pretty close games now. Yeah, 
Now, hopefully they're not bullshit games like the one that I played in the championship of the last one, but they'll, they'll be good games to the point where at least I'm not just up winning by 90 every game. You're going for it? For what? St. Louis leads by six. Fourth and long, they really need a big play here. Like, why? Under pressure, the quarterback goes down hard. And they turn the ball over. Let me see. Is this is there a screen pass anywhere? I mean, I'm sure this I'm gonna just dump it off to the run neck, most likely. He's out of bounds, don't kill him, please. I just got him back. has a ways to go here on second down. Come on, catch it. I just got you back and you're already doing me dirty. You're already making me sad. That's picked. You can catch it still. <laughs> catch it out of bounds. <laughs> Sorry about that. Score! Touchdown! <laughs> yes! Let's go! It's the bullshit. Bruh, just call me Michael Vick. Except, you know, I don't murder dogs. Actually, you know, I just made that joke, but like, I love, Michael Vick's one of my favorite players of all time, and my biggest thing about Michael Vick is like, there are people out there who still hate on him. I'm like, the dude did his time and has done nothing but good things since he's been back. Like, I respect Michael Vick m pretty much more than most players in the NFL. My whole thing is everybody does things in their life that they regret and do, you know, stupid things. If you handle that in a good way and say, yes, I messed up, I did bad things, and, you know, go to prison and basically change your life... What's wrong with him, you know, getting a second chance? He is a good person overall. He realized his mistakes and moved on from them. You know, I, like, I'm sure there are things in my life I've done that I regret, and I'm sure I wish I could take them back. But, you know, I've, doing those things are what have made me who I am and have changed me and shaped me into the guy that I am today. So, you know, that's my thing. Now I'm done rambling about something un completely unrelated to this game. I mean, it's about football, so I guess it's somewhat related. Um, yeah. Other stuff, I'm a huge... Uh, I'm from the Kansas City area, and so I'm a huge Chiefs fan. And at this current time, we've won six games in a row. We started off one and five, and then are now uh, seven and five, so that's nice. We have a good chance of going to the playoffs now, which is kind of crazy. And I actually really believe... You know, we've changed our team around. Alex Smith has proved a lot to me. Or I say to me, but to a lot of people. I mean, I say to me, like, he actually, you know, I'm going to make sure this guy knows I'm good. No. Alex Smith is a, has showed, at least to me personally, that he can be a good quarterback and a lot trustworthy of a quarterback than I originally thought of him after last season. Um, 
I mean, two seasons ago he did take us to the playoffs, but last year just it was not a good year. Yeah, you're going to see me running the ball a lot this season just for the sake of trying to make sure I get the uh, the league MVP. So anything new in my life going on lately? Well, let me think. Uh, I saw... I'm going, well, see, I I was in college, it's over winter break now, and I'm now back home, and I'm going to be back home for a little bit. People are favoriting my shit on Twitter. Texting me and I'm trying to fucking play video games. This is why I'm a terrible texter. Hold on. Shit. Oh shit. Bring him down. I wasn't paying attention. I'm on the bright side. My life has been good lately, you know, I'm got I've got a job now, I've got you know, a lot of things have been going well for me lately. you know, I'm gonna miss college well but not that much. I mean it college kinda was shitty. Oh shit, didn't even mean to do that. Well, that works. I pressed X to dive, and then I guess I accidentally pressed L with it. I didn't, I thought it only worked if you pressed X and, or L and, uh, A. Because that A is the dirty hit button, X is just the dive button. So shit. Well, at this point, I've already got 200 yards, so I'm just gonna start passing. Damn it! Stop. Why do people gotta get injured and shit? Here we go, here we go. Hold on, man, I'll give you here. Come on. Alright, I gotta do this right the first time. See, okay, I've learned that just doing it fast as shit is apparently better than actually trying super hard to get really close. Because every time I try really hard to get close, I end up getting, like, shitty. I mean, I, that being said about me passing to Henry Cho, it doesn't mean I still can't throw it to him every now and then. Or if I can run through the tunnel. Oh, what it was about the last game, because now I'm in Division 1, you'd think it would be like a lot harder. Use it on me. Ah, dumbass. I watched uh, the movie Slumdog Millionaire yesterday for the first time ever. And God damn, I did not know. I mean, like, I had heard about it, but I didn't know that movie was that intense. Like, God damn. Crazy shit happens in that movie. It was just like nothing like what I expected at all. Like all I knew about the movie going in was it's about the dude who wants to be a millionaire and he was from India and he was from like a bad area. But I didn't think. Oh, please! If he fumbles, let's go! Let's go! 
<laughs> oh, let's fucking go. That was perfect. I mean, yeah, like, I knew crazy shit happened, but, it, like, not like that. Some of the, like, I don't know, the part that got me was when this dude just, like, grabs a thing and, like, blinds a kid. And I was like, God damn. So I just... Makes me glad I live in fucking America. People act like there's problems here. Like, nah, fuck, shit. India? The slums of India? Those are real fucking problems. My problems here? Nah, dang, shit. You can't chase it! Yeah, at least I got the tackle. Like I said, even if I get an interception, I can add to the tackle tackle stats on my, my defensive stats. Pick it. Let's go. Oh shit. This is a nice chill. I'm just having fun. I was just trying to run out the clock. Uh, vulture carcass interception, sort of like, you know, devour the ball. Uh, I wanna have, oh, we have, I have exactly the same rushing and passing yards. It's kind of funny. I'm gonna try and get at least 200, 250 passing yards. So I wanna have a decent, like, I still gotta have decent passing stats, even though I wanna... Oh, did he not catch it? I thought he caught that. Damn. Let me just call some random ass pass plays that I've never actually called before. And my A guy is just standing there. I don't know if that's his actual route or if he's just a motherfucker. And he's probably injured, injured now. As I'm texting, <laughs> and then quickly after, like, oh shit, I gotta do this. But 97 percent, so you know, good, good shit, good shit. Well, it looks like we have. I want to run, but I want to pass. <laughs> I want to run, but I can do that. I could have scored either way. <laughs> I was I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking at my like recording software and then I was like, "Oh yeah, my recording software, the when I look at it, it's like a half second behind." Or a second and a half behind, actually. So probably not smart to be looking at that to try and base my decisions in this game off of. Oh, let me get to him. Damn it, just let me kill him. I don't even know if they're that tied into theirs, Felix 14. I don't know if he's made a single catch. They have not thrown it to him. Like The big plays that they've had, the two touchdowns, were not to him. That's not him either. Pick up the ball. All right. Now I'm going to fumble now too, aren't I? <laughs> okay. That's some crazy bullshit. This is the fucking one that I wanted to... This That was the touchdown celebration I wanted to figure out what the code was for it so I could do it. Because I would do that every fucking time. Okay, so random story. Uh, my, my roommate down at uh, college was telling me, you know, like, I'm... <laughs> people are going to hate me for this. I don't really give a fuck. I'm pretty anti-feminist. And when I say that, don't think, oh, you hate women. No, it's actually the opposite. When I say I'm anti-feminist, I mean the, the fact that I, uh, 
don't like feminists who over try to make basically make things issues that aren't issues uh, like sexual like things that aren't sexist they try to make them sound like they're sexist issues when they're really not and i and i am actually very much for uh equality for women and i'm very much for equality for all people not just women blacks every uh, you know blacks whites asians any race any you know homosexuals i'm a very you know i'm i believe everybody should have the same rights regardless of who you are we're all people and we're all, you know, Americans and shit. Anyway, so me and my roommate were talking, and the, this is the kind of feminist I don't like. So he was telling me about this girl back home. And, you know, she, he says he really likes her, which is totally fine. You know, he really likes her. But the thing he tells me about her is, like, she's a pretty big feminist. I'm like, okay, not even gonna lie, I probably wouldn't like her. And he goes, yeah, you probably wouldn't. Uh, we laughed about it. And um, then he tells me the story. He's like, there's one thing about her. Like, she's perfect, except for one thing. And I'm like, what's that? What the fuck is this? They have two corners. All right. But anyway, so he tells me the story basically that he, this girl won't have doggy style sex. And she goes, because it makes the male too dominant. And that is bullshit. I would argue that it's less dominant than fucking missionary. Anyway, I'm just done ranting about this. We, Me and him had a solid, like, long conversation about why doggy style is the fucking greatest. Anyway, it's my favorite. Anyway, that's all. That's, uh, I'm good talking about that I'm not because I'm not gonna try and talk about my friend's girl like that and I highly doubt he's watching this video but there's a good chance he could and yeah because <laughs> I recently told him about my YouTube channel because I don't really tell people like my personal friends about my YouTube channel very much hi franchise this is great I hope you don't mind me being forward but seeing as we're working on the same ad campaign I thought you might like to get together for drinks this evening. So, see you at the club tonight? Nice to finally meet you in person. I'll second that. I hear the commercial shoot went well. That's what my agent tells me. At least he returns your calls. My lame-ass agent is too distracted with his new client. Anyone I heard of? Some hotshot lead captain. Tyler or something. You play him this Sunday. You know... Football is a rough game. Accidents happen, even the lead captains. So I've heard. I'd be especially grateful if such an accident were to occur. So, trying to get yourself a little Hollywood tail? Yeah, I know about that chick you met. You think that pamper bitch can do things for you like I can? Good luck with that. Damn, someone's angry. Bruh, I'm a fucking football player. You should have saw this coming. Like, these guys are all fucking full. Because they don't have anything else they need. So, yeah. Well... That's gonna be it for this episode of Let's Play Blitz the League 2. Next time we're playing the Denver Grizzlies, and this is the one that I was talking about when I was in the first, or Division 3, there was a specific one that can actually be a bitch to do. This is this one, but we'll worry about that when I get to it. So I'll see you guys next time, and bye-bye.